Hey everyone, I'm going to be doing a little um, tutorial on how to manage your music, videos, documents, pictures if you're using a micro SD card. Um, a lot of people are having issues because they're not really sure how to mount it to the surface. Um, it's actually really easy. Unfortunately, you do have to do a few steps, but it's nothing too complicated. You're going to want to first go into your desktop. This is where we're going to be doing everything. Um, and then go to your file explorer, navigate to your C drive. And in the C drive, you're just going to want to make a new folder. I named mine SD because it's just easy to remember. Um, you can name it media, whatever you want. Just name it something that you're going to remember. Um, let's see, what else? After that, you're going to want to go to your back to your computer, um, then go to your SD card. In there, you're going to want to create two folders. How many folders? I have two. One is for music and one is for videos. That's what I'm going to be using my extra storage for. Um, after that, exit out of that. Well, I'm going to show you actually first. People that are trying just to add their SD card directly from the music properties, you're going to get a message and it's going to say that... Um, let's see, what does it say? It's going to say that this folder can't be included because it is on a removable device. It's kind of annoying, but there is a workaround and it's pretty easy to do. So once you did the folder, you added your folder on your, to your C drive, you're going to want to go to your disk management. So go. this is what I did. I'm using my wireless mouse right now. But go to your disk management, right click on the start screen, disk management right there. Find the, C, uh, find the D drive, well in this case mine is called D for um, my external or my removable micro SD card. Yours might be something different, I don't know. So find whatever letter um, drive your micro SD card is, right click that, change drive letter and paths, click that. This box is going to pop up, you're going to want to press add, then press browse, and then you're going to want to go click that folder that you created onto your C drive. Mine was called SD, so I'm going to um, click on SD. OK, OK. That's all you need to do in the disk management part. Exit out of that. Then you're going to want to go back to your file explorer. So let's go back there. Go to your libraries and then let's say, so I'm going to add my music first. I'm going to go to music, right click that and go to your properties. This time you're going to want to do, um, click the add button, go to your C drive, navigate to your C drive, click on the drive or the folder, whatever you created. Mine's called SD again. So I'm going to click that, press music. I'm going to press include folder, apply. Okay. My music is done. It's easy to configure now for my music. I just add all my music there and it'll show up on the Xbox live music app. I'm going to do the same thing what I just did to my videos folder. So properties, add, go to my C drive again, click on my videos folder this time, press include folder, OK. I'm going to exit out of that. That's done. I'm done configuring my folders. Everything should work now. So I'm going to go back to my start screen. Um, let's show, let's try my videos. Let's see if that worked. All right, so all my videos that are on my SD card now are going to show up here. They're slowly loading, but um, so that worked perfect. Um, there doesn't seem to be a speed issue. Everything seems pretty, pretty fast. Right when I click it, it starts playing. So there's no issues with that. I'm going to get out of this. Uh, my music. Let's check out that and see if that worked. It might take a little bit for the albums to load up since it is from a micro SD card, but yep, everything is loaded perfect. So now in this case, you can use your SD card to store music and it'll all load up within the Xbox Live music app, your video app, or whatever you choose to do. Um, so it's pretty easy. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment, leave a reply, whatever, I'll get back to you. Um, I'll do a little description on the video profile too, just to give you a little, a better step-by-step -step way how to do it. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.